Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you guys have been a great day, inshallah. So today, I'm going to tell you guys my comment story. My name is Monica, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know. I've tried this before, like, three times. I uploaded a video, and to the 13 people who saw it, I'm sorry. Just act like you never saw it. And, okay, this is a better one. Let's get started. Okay. And I made a little note, so I'm sorry if I keep looking down. I just had to remember everything. Some little background information on myself. I was born into a Catholic family. I even got baptized, went to First Communion. And I took my confirmation for my quinceanera, which a lot of people do. If you got any quinceas you're going to, invite me. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> okay, back to the topic. So, it started in middle school, I think it was 6th grade, when we learned about all the Abrahamic religion, so like, uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And, <laughs> I hope you guys like my pen. <laughs> so, Islam really stuck out to me because I realized there was a lot of similarities between Catholicism and Islam, so I wanted to know more of what was really different. And, you know, I was like, what, 11 years old at the time? I can't, I can't do math apparently because I don't know how old I was in 6th grade, <laughs> but... <laughs> I just told myself that I would keep it in the back of my head and if I got older and I still thought about it then I would actually go more into learning more and practicing if that's really what I wanted to do but as I tried to like hold back from really pursuing it I was just around Muslims all the time like my best friends growing up were all practicing Muslims and they're really good people mashallah but you know don't get too full of yourself I don't know if you're watching this because you know who you are but <laughs> and it got to the point when I turned what like 18 years old and I wanted to really get serious about it and I was just a really religious Catholic and that's what pushed me to Islam. So a lot of people ask also like why are Latinos converting to Islam? And it's because they're really closely related and lots of beliefs that Catholics have and the way we're supposed to live our life are similar to Islamic beliefs of like living your life. 13 years old, I started asking my friends for questions. A lot of them teach at Sunday school and a lot of them have parents who teach as well. So I learned from them. I started watching more videos and think after practicing more and reading more Quran and my friends when I told them like I was thinking of converting like that year like I just felt it in my heart that it's really what I wanted to do like I believed it strongly a lot of them told me to like just hold back on it they want to make they were wanted to make sure that I was really serious about it because if I do it like never to go back you know but if anything I knew that for a fact it was happening I just didn't know when and when I was watching this video a lot of, of you guys probably know Omar Salman he's really cool Michelle. Uh, I watched this video called How to Be in Jannah with the Prophet Sallallahu and that video was like the video that really pushed me. I was like, Hala, I'm taking my shahada, like I can't wait anymore. It was just so beautiful and I recommend you guys watch it. So <laughs> that video, it pushed me like that, like four days later on Thursday, I took my shahada. One of the best days ever, it's like a changed woman, I don't remember my life before it. So if you knew me before then, I don't know you no more. How could you be so heartless? I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now let's get to the real juicy part, how my family reacted, because everybody's curious. First off, when I uh, took my shahada, I was already practicing wearing hijab for like a week, like two weeks, let's be, let's be honest here, two weeks. So, okay, and then I would go home, I didn't tell my parents until two weeks after my shahada, which was obviously, for obvious reasons, one, I was terrified, two, I realized I had to tell them because we were going to Mexico like in a, a month after. And it's not like I was just going to hide and wear a hoodie all the time out there, so I had to tell them. And at first they were really mad. They're probably still mad, but they're more hurt than mad. You know, everybody talks about like getting shunned from their families, or like everyone wants to like dis disown them. And honestly, that's literally what they wanted to do. But I understand, like, of course they didn't mean it, but any parent raising their child to be something or in a set of religion, if, some, if their own child like flips to a different thing, they're going to feel like it's the end of the world, like their child just trying to be something else and they feel basically betrayed. I hope that it's gotten better and it probably gets even more better. They still love me of course and hopefully they can see that Islam has made me a better person. But honestly the only thing that held me back from taking my shahada and from actually going through with this because I knew from my heart this would like I was set, like this is what I was meant to do. But I held back because my family. That's all I cared about. I didn't care what people in the street had to say, I didn't care what my friends had to say. I care about my family. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be sentimental and, shit, and I'm laughing. Okay, no, seriously. Seriously. So, I was scared, like, I didn't want to hurt my family's feelings. Because, of course, like, in Islam, it's supposed to, like, your family's number one. Like, your parents have to respect them. And you're supposed to be really close to them. I was scared of hurting their feelings. That's why I took so long. Because, you know what? I was supposed to be Muslim from birth, but, you know, I was just scared. So. <laughs> Okay, my friends. Actually, surprisingly, a lot of my friends that I didn't talk to, you know, like you have those friends, like you talk like once a month, but you're still friends. 
Like, they hit me up and were, like, congratulating me, saying, like, they were happy for me. A lot of people who didn't even talk to me ever, but, like, we're mutuals because we went to school together. Uh, they hit me up and, like, you know what, we know, like, you're a smart girl, like, you wouldn't do something crazy for no reason. I was like, damn, what you mean crazy? <laughs> but <laughs> they are, like, more curious about it. Like, they wanted to know, like, you know what, like, because of you, like, now I want to learn more about Islam and see what it's like. Because I know you wouldn't do something if you didn't feel passionate about it or if you knew it was the truth for you. And I was like, wow, like that. You know what? That really touched me in my heart. And that's what let you guys know that. So basically, like, if you think you don't have an effect in somebody's life, like, you do, like, whatever you do, a lot of people can watch it or, like, they're influenced by it. So always be a good person, number one thing. And the other friends who, like, we don't hang out anymore, I, get, I don't know, like, I'm still the same person. I don't know why. Like, just number one thing for converts or people thinking I'm converting to know, like, some of your friends are going to stay. Let's be honest here. Some of them are going to, like, want to get away from you. They probably think you're just weird now. It doesn't matter because they're not your friends anyways. And you'll find a lot of more friends. You know what? After converting, it's crazy. Like, subhanAllah, so like, all the friends that I've gotten. And if you're ever thinking of converting, if you're lonely, hit me up on my socials. We can be best friends or whatever. Okay, so we talked, we caught, third thing, how, like, the general public's gonna treat you if you convert. So the first thing, at my job, I was really, I walked in there and I was scared as sh but, you know, just walk in confidently, especially if you're a girl thing to wear in a job. Own that girl. You know you look cute. God thinks you're beautiful. When people ask you why you're in the hijab, tell them, you know, talk about Islam. Yeah, I was scared of wearing hijabs for the first time, you know, people seeing me. On my track team, too. Then I went to work. A lot of people, and I found out even, like, through friends, were talking about me, saying, like, questioning stuff. And one of the main questions you get, or that I got, was like, so, like, did you convert for your boyfriend? That's so freaking hilarious because we're not supposed to have boyfriends, you know, like, the stuff for, like, no boyfriends here. And I wouldn't convert for a boy. Like, okay, I know a lot of people do this. But I really hope that a lot of you can do it from the bottom of your heart and do it because that's what you truly believe. But sis, there is no man worth you getting like harassed for hijab, getting little stares, especially if you go to other countries like France, who's really racist when I went there, and Mexico where you like stand out. Like there's a lot of growing Muslim population there, but you're gonna stand out and like be the only hijabi when you go places. Like no man is worth that, going to the airport, getting searched all the time, questioned. What else happens when you wear hijab? Just getting like race, like men can go out being Muslims, not not get noticed like hijabis do, you know. So no man is worth you getting all the <laughs> by Muslim boys. Do it for you. So I'm let you know, like no guy is worth going through everything that I've been through and everything that converts go through, especially from their family and all the issues, everything else surrounding that. Do it for you, and guys too. Don't do it for a girl. Do it for you, boo. Do it for you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're like, are you married now? I'm like, do you see a ring on this finger, honey? Is this a word? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not married. Like, and people, especially like lots of Latinos, like, they'll see me at work and I'll start speaking Spanish with somebody and they'll be like, hold up, you speak Spanish? I'm like, yeah, it's my first language. What do you mean? And um, and I'm learning Arabic, so inshallah, be fluent with that too. But um, everyone say inshallah. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> um, yeah, alhamdulillah. Mean. You know, say it. so crazy to me, but I'm really happy. Like a lot of them will be open about it, and they'll like say, "There's one." They'll be aware that there's lots of Latinos converting to Islam, and they'll also second thing that they also say is when they find out that I did it and my family didn't do it. They're like, you know what? That's so good for you. Like that's what you truly believe, and we respect you because we feel like Islam is like we see how you guys practice your religion and how you're more dedicated to it than we Catholics are, and that's that's what they're saying. I'm not trying to like talk bad on them. Because you know, I'm in a Catholic family too, my family's Catholic. And so it's really nice so they can be aware of that. And like they don't have to be really judgmental like a lot of people back home are. They, they just want to be aware of Islam and like, think like, why? Why did you want to put on hijab? Like, are you oppressing yourself? Like, what you trying to do? So that's the other thing. If we're taking the tea break. Oh, I didn't think that was kind of hot. Um, you guys gonna watch me burn my mouth. It's become a little mukbang, or what is it called? Like a ASMR. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, what else are we getting at? By the way, come to Circus House, get some tea. <laughs> okay. You know, Afghans have the best tea or whatever. Sorry, right, so I'm out of friends. Let's call it out. So, like, being a Muslim girl. I'm Muslim. Being out there and like people see that I actually speak Spanish, especially at work, because I'm a cashier. You know, but I encounter lots, lots of faces. I see lots of faces every day, cause they'd be busy up in there. Oh, they—they're surprised. Like, they see a hijabi and they're like, 
confused and I speak Spanish, so I explain it to them. So being a Muslim girl and a Latina, like, it brings lots of awareness to Latinos and even people who aren't Latinos. And they realize that Islam is not race oriented. It could be any race. It surprises them, like, yo, you're a convert? Like, you wanted to convert to Islam. Like, why? Do you know? And then, so when you want to convert, just realize you're going to be a representation of Islam and you're bringing more awareness to it. So kudos to you, mashallah, keep doing your thing. So, and especially, okay, and one thing to wear in hijab in general or converting, like now you represent Islam, so be on your best behavior and just know that you have an effect on people. So keep being that great person. The number one thing, people say mean stuff to you because you're a convert. Okay, oh, that's what I didn't get to. After converting and people being aware of me or like going to masjids and like talking to people, you'd be surprised, like, you're gonna be, of course you're getting a lot of new Muslim friends, they're gonna welcome you, they're your sisters and brothers or whatever, so your family, they're gonna be nice, but there's a lot of people too that I meet, or like, they question like, you're Muslim, but you don't have an Arab name, like, what? Or like, a lot of them are like, they find out where I'm from, and like, they're like, oh, like, first they're trying to like say, salam, and then now they're like, not really making conversation, so literally like, 75% of the time, people will find out I'm a convert, like, oh my gosh, Mashallah, alhamdulillah, like, I'm so happy for you. That's so beautiful. Like, you're so lucky. Like, girl, you're all your sins washed away. You're a new person. Or uh, everybody else, so, like, 25% of them are like, I'm gonna be acting like I know my stats. But literally, like, 25% of them don't see my name tag at work. See, my name isn't, like, Arab, or, like, they'll find out where I'm from, and they just want to stop the conversation right there. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, y'all gotta get it together. We as a family. When you die, your race does not matter. Yo, D matters, so watch out. Alright, we have to. I'm for your next, and y'all gonna come for me. It's like, oh my gosh, what do you th who do you think you are? I am Monica, by the way. <laughs> Hit me up. Okay, I think I cut off saying my social media, so in case you guys didn't catch that, it's at I T S M O N I C U H H underscore, like it's Monica. To say my name. So if you're thinking of converting, I recommend just, you know, learning more about it. If you're gonna do it, just know like you don't want to go back. So make sure it's what you feel in your heart. I feel like you know when you want, like you'll feel it in your heart. You have your calling. And if you have any questions, always feel free to ask your Muslim friends. Ask them to take you to, if they don't know answers, hopefully they can be honest. Like, you know what? I don't really know. And they can take you to like a masjid and you learn from there or other Islamic classes. Or hit me up, like I just said, at it's Monica underscore. <laughs> we can be like best friends or whatever. What else, Erica? Say that you're gonna link the video too. Oh yeah, in the video for I'm Muslim, I'm gonna link it in the description box. You know, I feel like such a YouTuber now. And my social and Zerka's, cause you know, <laughs> shout out to the the film person uh, or the director. I hope hope I didn't forget anything because then this is embarrassing. Cause I'm gonna make it over again. Have a great day. Remember to smile. It's soon as smile, so smile. Be nice to people. Okay, salam to everybody. Have a great day. Bye. You so, three pens. <laughs> you know what? They help me. I'm sorry the person in the back of the camera is making fun of me. <laughs> Her name is Zerka, by the way. She's no. single. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> we might keep that in there, but whatever. Okay. So basically, my first thoughts. Okay, actually, no, you're not supposed to close. You know what I mean. You know what the hell I mean. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Wow. Okay. And I hope not, because I'm tired of recording this. How many times did you record this? Like seven times. Probably major. <laughs> <laughs>